there, it's Stephanie. Today I'm using the 1.0 beta version of Inkscape, which is really cool. And I'm excited to do one of my first tutorials using it. There are a lot of changes to Inkscape, but one of the changes I've noticed was the align and distribute uh, tool. It, it has a different way of allowing users to distribute and align objects. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a little bit of that by drawing a few squares. And I'm just copying and pasting. I like how this is already aligning. I haven't made any changes to Inkscape. These default preferences came loaded. So I'm just gonna, I'm just changing the colors on these so you can see what I'm doing. Let's draw a circle. These are the worst colors right now. Let's change these colors, make them a little nicer. All right, whatever. We're just gonna work with these. So a lot of times when you're aligning, let's say we wanna keep these squares together. We want them to align to the center of the circle. However, we don't want each of the squares to also uh, change their position. We want them to keep that. The old Inkscape, you would have to group them. But in the new one, you don't even have to do that. You can treat selections as a group. So if I click on here and I go ahead and say, let's align according to the first item selected. So I'm going to highlight the first item, that's the first selected, so that means that anything that I select after this will align to this object, which is the circle. So my second object, I'm going to call object, will be this square, this big square pattern. And by selecting them all at once, I'm telling Inkscape, actually, sorry, I have to select this first and then hold down shift and then click and drag and then select the second object. So I'm telling Inkscape that I have two separate objects, not five. So let's start by aligning them to the vertical axis of the circle. And if we wanna just double check, it's in the center, let's do horizontally. So it's perfectly aligned. Now, if I had not selected this, let's go back. I'm going to hit Command Z on my Mac. And I'm going to select this button. And let's just try doing the same thing. I'm going to click, hold, and drag and select the circle. I'm going to click, hold, and drag while holding Shift on the squares. And I'm going to select this. And you'll notice that the squares, they all go to the center, which you know, if there's different projects you're working on, that might work, but in this case, we do not want to lose the formation here. Okay, so there's one thing there. Um, there's another capability that this new Inkscape has, which is allowing you to align according to the, I guess, the page border of the object. So. Let me see if I can try to show this. If you check this or just click on this box here, so if you read it, enable on canvas alignment handles, and then click once, click twice, actually, or three times. Once you get these arrows, you can click on them, and I'm just gonna hit Command Z, and you can try different alignments. So what it did was it says, what's the absolute width that includes all of these objects? And what's the absolute height that includes all of this, these objects? Okay, let's create a canvas around these objects and let's give the user the ability to click on each of these arrows and align them as the user wants. Um, so that was just a very quick tutorial on the align. If you'd like to know how to use the full range of these commands, you can always check out our earlier YouTube video on a line. Um, and that's using 0.91, I believe, or 0.92 of Inkscape, but it should work pretty much the same. Well, feel free to leave comments, ask questions. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.